Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let us see and understood how to use Terraform in order to create your infrastructure in real time. So for that, in sample, let us create a file and understood how to use Terraform. So for that, what I'm doing here. So in order to show you in a good appearance manner, I've installed this Teams extension. This is a Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code Editor. Here, I've installed uh, this uh, Slack theme. In this, I've selected uh, some theme so that it will be clearly visible to you. Then, in order to highlight all my Terraform scripts that I have running, for that, in order to highlight the syntax of Terraform, I installed uh, this Terraform. I installed this HashiCorp Terraform. Okay. Now, I'm moving back to the folder. I've already opened a folder that is this Terraform learning. This is one folder I opened previously. Now I'm creating a file by just clicking on this. You can see by just clicking on this, I've created a new file. Now I'm writing the name like a main.tf. Every Terraform file, every Terraform file that you're going to create must ends with an extension as tf that indicates the script that you are written under this file will be Terraform script. Now, what I want to do, I want to create a file. So what is a file? That's nothing but a resource, right? Yeah. So that's why I'm writing RES for URC. You can see whenever I re return RES, I'm getting, I'm getting this suggestion. Who is providing this suggestion? That is HashiCorp Terraform extension that we installed. Now I'm writing. So resource, so what type of resource you are going to create? Currently, it's a local file. So that's why I'm writing that as a local file. And your resource name, it's a file. So that's why I written file. Then within the flower braces, within the flower braces, here we need to define what is the file name and what content do you want to put into that file? Now, I want to write the file name. You can see that file name is already visible as one of the suggestion. Now I'm writing it. And so what is the file name that you want to put that you need to put it within double quotes. Let's say the file name will be file one. And now I want to put some content into it. So that's why I'm writing content that is equals to um, hello hero. Hello hero. This is the content that I want to put in my file. Now I just want to save this file. So that's why I'm clicking on control S. Or else you, you can uh, click on control or else you can click on file. Then you can save this as well. You can see here, save option is there. Now you have created a Terraform file and you have written the script for your infrastructure. Now you want to, you want to use the script in order to create your environment. So how to do that by using Terraform? For that, you first need to initialize your Terraform in the same directory where your Terraform file is there. In the same directory, you need to initialize your Terraform. You can see I am in the same folder of this. I'm in the same folder of this. Now, I want to init initialize my Terraform. So that's why I'm writing Terraform space in it. You can see it is initializing the backend and provider plugins. Here, what are the providers I have? Only local file. This is the only provider I have. This is the only provider I have that got, you can see it's installed. If you extend this, then you can see it's a local provider. You can see the local provider related executable file of my Terraform is installed. Like that, in your code, how many resources you create, those many providers related files will be installed. If you observe clearly the output that you get, then you can able to analyze some more details. That is, it installs you the local file. That is nothing but uh, your provider. Then it also creates a log file where in this log file, what it will include, sir? The log file include the version control repository. 
whatever the versions are there, this all repository will be visible here. You can see the version, the version of uh, your Terraform installed. Currently, latest version is this that's got installed. Now, so since uh, when you run it, that is Terraform in it, these all things will be happened. So we have did it. A Terraform was successfully initialized. Now, in order to see the plan, what are the changes which will happen whenever I run this Terraform script? So that we we have a command that is Terraform plan. You can see if you run this command, you can able to see the changes that are happen in your infrastructure. Now I want to run that. So that's why I'm writing Terraform space plan. Here you can see, yeah, here you can observe whatever the changes that are happening. Those all will be visible now here. Now, if you observe this file will be created. This local file related file will be created and that file related content is this and content related. So other details also there here. So at last what happens one got added, one file got added and zero changes. So one got added and zero changes and zero destroys. So that's the only thing happened. So whenever you write this terraform apply command, then one file got created with this file name and with this content. If you observe your content is also visible here, right? Yeah. Your content is also visible here. Now I want to apply this uh, changes to my infrastructure. So that's why I'm writing this uh, terraform space apply. Now, if you observe, so whenever this command is executed, then you can see one file got added here. You just reload it. Yeah, you, you need to provide confirmation as well. Did you want to perform these actions? So what actions is that? This file will be created. This file will be created with uh, these configurations. So like that with this file name, with this content, your file will be created. So that changes you want to accept. Then you need to enter S. That's it. Your file will be created right now here. You can see file one got created successfully, right? Yeah. You can see apply completed resources. One got added and zero got changed and zero got destroyed, right? Yes. So let's say if you provide, let's say if you created a Terraform file with some mistake, then does it will work or it will show you an error. It will show you an error. Definitely you need to rectify your error based on the error that you get. Mostly the errors that you face will be the syntax error. So that's why please practice these scripts very well so that you can have less probability to get errors, syntax errors. Now let's verify our file content was same or not. You can see what are the file content that we provided that content is the same. Now let's say I want to, I want to destroy whatever the changes happened due to this Terraform script. For that, do I have any comments or yes? You can write this a Terraform destroy command. You just click on enter so that whatever the files, those are created, those will be destroyed. It will also ask you the confirmation before, before doing this confirmation, you need to once check this, that is what happens whenever, if you provide this confirmation as S, if you provide the confirmation as S, the file with this file name, file one, and this content will be destroyed, will be destroyed. So let's provide S and let's check whether the infrastructure that is a file one that we created that is a destroyed or not. You can see that is destroyed automatically deleted. Now let's try to write a wrong syntax. You can see since we installed our extension, since we installed the extension of a hash copper terraform, it is already showing me the mistake. That is a, this line is mistaken. That is a file name is not specified. So like that you're getting the mistake. Let's say you are not installed the HashiCorp Terraform extension. Then, then also you can able to identify that while running. You can type this uh, Terraform plan. There it will show you the mistake. So in order to apply this uh, infrastructure change, you need to apply 
you need to click on terraform i think the changes got not saved so that's why it is dot now i'm just clicking on control s so that uh, just know the save changes happened now i'm just uh, running the same command that is terraform plan here it will show you the error that is uh, whatever the mistake happened that it will show you can see missing required argument this file name required argument got missing and one more thing an argument named file nam is not expected here so here this name is not expected and file name argument is missing from this you can able to identify and rectify your error right yeah so this is the way and let's say let's say if you are directly applying the changes terraform space apply and your your terraform script was mistaken that is a, there is a mistake in your terraform script then does it shows you the error or it will apply the changes in your infrastructure it will show you the error it must show you the error you can see i'm just clicking on enter you can see again the same mistakes were showing to you right you need to rectify that error before applying if you want to see the changes then you need to you need to write the command that is terraform plan if you want to apply the changes then you write this terraform apply command if you want to destroy the infrastructure created by your terraform script then you need to write this terraform destroy okay now let's say i want to show you one more thing that is a terra by clicking on plan i want to show you one more thing so whenever i want to create this file you can see the content the content of this file does it showing to me yes so while applying a plan my content is showing to me in real time in real time projects it may be happened that the content need to be hidden the data is sensitive your file data is sensitive your saving file data is sensitive that is not even visible to any other persons who are even performing this uh, terraform plan as well as a terraform uh, action that is a terraform apply even at the case of uh, terraform apply also you can able to see that changes what changes were happening those changes will be visible to you so you you can see under terraform apply also the content is visible to you now let's say i want to hide this content you you can write a terraform apply here so that the content even visible to you here the changing content will be visible to you here that is this you can see that is visible here currently i am not applying changes so that's why i'm clicking on no apply cancel now i want to i don't want to show you show this sensitive content so while while planning or while applying the terraform changes i don't want to show this content so for that do i have any changes do i have any options yes for that you need to change the file type that is a local sensitive local sensitive file it's a local sensitive file you need to change the file type to local sensitive whenever you provide this file type then the content will not show you whenever you try to do these two things that is terraform plan or terraform apply now i want to save this so that's why i'm clicking on control s it's a window system so that's why i clicking on control s now i'm applying this terraform plan now you can able to see that content won't be visible to you you can see what you're getting sensitive value what is that what is the content it's a sensitive value you cannot able to see the content in it right yeah even you perform terraform space apply then also you cannot able to see the content here you can see the content is sensitive after this terraform apply command also the content is sensitive you cannot able to see the content now let's say i want to apply this so that's why i'm clicking on s you can see a file will be created and if you open the file then you can able to see the sensitive content that you have created right yeah let's say in real time this might happens that after creating your infrastructure after creating your infrastructure you might required to change your infrastructure 
that is you might require it to delete some resources and you might require it to create another substitute resources that is upgraded resources at those uh, deleted resources place you want to do those simultaneously at a time so during that time do i have, do i can able to do that by using this terraform sir yes let's say let's say i want to improvise my content to hello hero hello btx park hero so like that i want to improvise this content so that's why i provided my content like this and i want to save these changes so that's why i'm clicking on this file and clicking on save so that these changes got saved now i want to apply these changes into my file one i don't want this content i want to update the content this for that i'm just writing this terraform space apply terraform plan will show you the plan terraform apply will apply the content you can see forcefully replacing what what happening the file content is replacing so one destroyment will be happened and one addition will be happened on our plan i want to continue this i want to perform these actions so that's why i'm clicking on s and entering this you can see those got applied now you can open your file one now you can see that change got applied Yes, that change also got applied. Now let's say I want to change the file as well. I want to write the file name as file2. I don't want file1. I want the file file name as file2 or my project1 file. Project1. Project1 file. So I'm just uh, clicking on file and saving these changes. I want, I don't want this uh, file1 name. I want the file name as project1 file. So that's why I renamed the file name like this. Now, can if I run this Terraform script, does it delete this file as well as create this file, sir? Is that happened? Now let's see that. So let's write this Terraform and apply. So directly you can able to apply the changes before uh, even checking the plan. You can see what happened it will forcefully replacing the file name from this to this it is just changing the file name from file one to this project one file so do you want to perform this action yes and clicking on enter now you can see yeah our project file name also got changed i'm just opening it you can see the content present in it is visible yes so in this way, you can able to create your infrastructure. After creating your infrastructure, let's say, I don't want this infrastructure anymore. I want to destroy it. For that, you also have terraform destroy command. Now I'm just clicking on enter. You can see that file will be delete right now. After taking a confirmation, you, you can say, do you want to destroy this file? Do you want to destroy this resource? Yes. I want to destroy the infrastructure that I've created with this Terraform file. You can see that got deleted, destroyed, right? Yeah. So in this way, you can able to use this Terraform in real time to create your infrastructure. And you can able to see the plan of your infrastructure and apply the infrastructure and apply the plan of your infrastructure and you can able to destroy the infrastructure and modify the infrastructure in real time as well this is a, this is a simple example related to local file i hope you understood this video and you got some knowledge and hands on lab regarding this terraform in real time so one more important point there is no substitute for hard work so please practice so that you can able to remember these concepts very well i hope this video is useful if you feel this video is useful then please like share subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates thanks for watching again see you back in the next video with another interesting topic until then bye bye guys